Hey everybody, Ham here up in the office with a very quick update. Camera's a little crooked. Well, you have to live with that. Um, doing it up here instead of downstairs because after what I found this morning in the kitchen when I came downstairs, Marvin is officially freaking me out. Uh, I I know it's going to be a couple weeks before Fred comes back, but I, I hate to admit this, and if anybody tells him this, I will deny it. But I may actually miss Fred. Uh, it's very strange. Anyway, just a quick update. First of all, you have till midnight tonight, Sunday, uh, to submit your entries for the quick little Zippo contest for the uh, very excellent uh, broken glass uh, Zippo. Found some more of these. For instance, I just found this again. This is my green mat zip. Uh, still holding fluid. I know I haven't filled this in a while, but, uh, tell you what, I found I have some duplicates and they're pretty cool. They're not just the standard, uh, plain brass or plain chrome. Uh, and, uh, they're pretty awesome. So I don't think this is going to be the last Zippo giveaway. So if you don't win this contest, cheer up, man. Uh, there's more coming. I have to tell you, um, some of you guys, are officially Zippo magicians. Some of the tricks I've seen, I mean, I can do a couple, and they don't work with this mat one, so I'm not even going to try, but I can I can do a flip. And I've also learned how to, I've got one lighter I've adjusted so I can do the twilight zone, which is kind of cool. But uh, there's a couple of you out there, especially uh, one gentleman, I forget his name right now, that uh, has just got the flick bang down. And I'm telling you what, it is the coolest thing. It's also the shortest video I've gotten. But it's, it's damn impressive. All the videos are great, though. I love the stories. I love your lighters. Um, some of them I had not seen before, the lighters. And i uh, got to admit, Zippo certainly keeps the designs coming. But anyway, some quick updates. First of all, I got this in. This is, I collect motorcycles. I've got them all over the place. I'm a writer. I'm an avid fan of the two-wheel form of transportation. This is a victory kingpin. Uh, I'm a cruiser guy. When you're 6'4 and about 300 pounds, uh, you're not going to see my ass sticking up in the air on a cafe bike. Sorry, not going to happen. Cruisers are cool. And uh, this is really nice. It's got a uh, really nice saddle design on it. I love the way the, uh, the saddle shapes on this. But I've actually gone and seen this bike in person. And these little Models are, are hyper accurate. I mean, it's perfect. 106 cubic inches. Uh, it translates really well, and it's just it's a cool bike. And this will go in with the umpteen million other ones I've got sitting around the house here. Uh, tell you, I pity the person who has to clean my place house after I die. Uh, <laughs> it's just just back a truck up, man. Uh, went out and uh, oh, the big news: me, Mr. Gerber, Mr. Fixblade is finally starting to get turned down to Kershaw. Uh, the local store had these on sale, uh, paid uh, under 20 bucks for it, which probably is common, but they were listed for like 24, and uh, I got this for considerably less. It's The Clash, my first one. I know you guys have espoused this for a long time. There's a ton of videos on this. Uh, for the price, I'm damn impressed with this knife. Uh, as I'm sure a lot of you will tell me in the responses, but just uh, just great. I'm really looking forward to ED seeing this. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. I also uh, uh, picked up a uh, Oso oh Sweet, which I am sending out to California uh, for her, and uh, she uh, she really likes that one. So uh, we'll look forward to a report from her. Um, picked up something I wanted a little short monocular for work and I got this from Brunton. It was a two-pack combo. Uh, it's the Brunton 7x18 monocular. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, not very powerful but perfect for what I need. It's basically just about a golf ranging scope. Yeah. So that does. I'm sorry for the flickering there but it's the automatics on the webcam. And then the Gerber shortcut which I am probably, I'm not a really big fan of the small little multi-tools but this one is actually pretty cool. This is going to go in a first aid kit at some point. 
because it's got the really good scissors in it and it's got some good little tools on it. I was really impressed by the blade on this. Um, I was impressed by the grind and just the amazing sharpness of this. It's, you know, full double-edged grind. Drop point, but it's just amazingly, amazingly sharp. Uh, who knows? I might EDC this too, but I'll tell you what, not bad for one of these little ones, and I'm sure you guys can tell me more about that too. Uh, a couple other things real quick. I uh, got a new pouch for first aid that I'm going to try out. This is a new one by Voodoo Tactical. It's called their Personal First Aid Kit Pouch. It's a little different than the pouches I usually use. It's not the BD Organizer, but this does have some interesting things. It's got three elastic, very big elastic uh, bands on one side. It is vinyl line so it is going to be water resistant not waterproof again zippers don't make it waterproof but it's also got um a huge horizontal pouch on the other side and there's lots of room in there to stuff stuff so this might be a good one uh, i'm going to be working on that this week and again it's got the expandable pals molly webbing on the back zippered compartment which is full size here in the front and the velcro uh not bad yeah, it's got the drain holes in the bottom, of course. Uh, but um, yeah, we're going to do a video on doing this as a uh, as a first aid kit. I've, I've been asked by a lot of people to actually do a video on how I assemble a first aid kit. Well, we might do it with this. Uh, I've got a lot of supplies, and I've got to make a few more up anyway. Uh, so it might be it. So look forward to that. And then there's this. Found this while I was cleaning up. Got this a while, but they're still selling these. This is by a place called wingnutgear.com. Okay. They make a lot of really cool urban bags and packs and some really good hiking stuff. And they're very affordable. You should go check them out. But anyway, this is their wallet. It's a trifold wallet, but it's vinyl. Okay. It's a ballistic vinyl nylon, first of all. Very lightweight, very thin. Okay, so you've got a lot of room in there. It's got a lot of good room to hold stuff. You've got a large pouch here for cards. You've got smaller pouches here for cards or whatever. And this is an opaque, it's not transparent, but an opaque window. You know, you, so you can put stuff inside there. It's not going to be 100%. And, of course, it's got the fold on the back. But the cool thing about this is this is supposedly waterproof. These are four pull tabs. Okay, and you've got one compartment underneath here, one compartment underneath here, and a big compartment underneath here. You can get it from either side. But the cool thing about this is these pull apart, and what you've got is Ziploc. Very heavy-duty vinyl on the inside, totally sealed. And the Ziploc that you would find in our old friends, the Ziploc baggies, which we proved by dunk test, were very good, at least on a temporary basis, of keeping stuff dry even when dunked. These lock tight, and you know what this means. Tomorrow is dunk test day. We're going to get out. Well, I think we'll just do it in the sink, but uh, the way Marvin's behaving, we may do a dunk test on Marvin. You never know. Wait till you see this. I mean, I'll probably even do it tonight, post it tonight, but it was just absolutely frightening when I got down. I've been hearing weird noises coming from downstairs for the past couple of days, and uh, now we know why. Anyway, that's the update for now. Uh, again, great responses. Please keep them coming. Remember, you have until midnight Sunday, that's today, to enter your uh, entries. And I will judge it quick and get it posted sometime early Monday morning. Uh, and thank you, all of you, for your support. I really am enjoying being a part of the community. I hope we're giving something back. And uh, we'll talk to you a little later. Be safe.